Life simulation game The Sims 4 has taken a few steps forward in imitating real life beyond choosing a sim character's body size, fat ratio, or hair color. Players known as simmers can now give their teenage or adult sims top surgery scars or make them wear a chest binder or shapewear. Top surgery is performed on some transgender men and non-binary people to remove breast tissue or augment the breast, enabling them to feel more physically aligned with their gender identity. Binders are used to minimize the outward appearance of breast tissue. The Sims, one of the best-selling PC games since its debut in 2000, has also introduced medical wearables, including hearing aids and glucose monitors, themakers announced it on publisher EA's website on Tuesday, while these new assets are purely visual, without any gameplay functionalities. The binder, for example, does not change the Sims body shape. Many have praised the game's endeavor to become more inclusive, one person we said that the update made her cry, adding, I'm non-binary and this made my heart happy. It's not perfect and the binder not binding is disappointing, but the they're taking steps to make trans and non-binary people feel more representation in game and that's a huge start. Love the new medical wearables, another person tweeted. This means a lot to us disabled simmers. More of this please. The move has also proven controversial. Some Twitter's users have called the addition of top surgery scars irresponsible in a game played by children. Others have suggested that in a game where players can drown their sims, starve them, or embarrass them to death, the latest additions seem like a strange thing to object to. Players can already choose and change their character's gender and sexual orientation. I never get the hate for adding more inclusive options for character customization. They are options. You don't have to include them for your character, no one is forcing you to, another commentator tweet.